first thing you notice when approaching the i7 is that BMW's hallmark twin circular headlights and kidney grille have been redefined for the new 7 series. The lights are now divided into two separate areas. The upper light strips include daytime driving lights, side marker lights, and turn indicators and act as a more prominent focal point, taking the attention away from the controversial extra-large kidney grill that's part of BMW's new design language. That's especially true when the upper light strips are highlighted by the optional Swarovski crystals. The low and high beam headlights are positioned directly below the upper light strip and recessed into the front apron. All versions of the new BMW 7 Series come standard with adaptive LED headlights, including cornering light and high beam assistant. The new 7 Series is also larger than the outgoing 7. It's been stretched. 5.1 inches longer to 212.2 inches, 1.9 inches wider to 76.8 inches, and it's also two inches higher and now sits at 60.8 inches in height. Its wheelbase is also slightly longer, which helps add more passenger volume in the cabin. The added two inches of height also increases the headroom and helps to open up the cabin even more. The luggage capacity in the trunk is a respectable 17.7 .7 cubic feet, but as with the BMW i4 and iX, there is no front storage space, or frunk as most EV enthusiasts call it, under the hood. A BMW representative told us that was a result of the i7 sharing the same platform with the conventionally fueled and plug-in hybrid versions of the 7 Series. However, that explanation doesn't explain why the BMW iX also doesn't have front storage space, as it employs a purpose-built bespoke platform. Once inside the i7, you'll find BMW's finest materials merging with its latest technology. There's a 5.5-inch touchscreen control unit integrated into the trim of each rear door, allowing passengers to control the audio system, climate control functions, seat adjustment settings, ambient lighting, and rear sunshades. It also allows rear passengers to select their choice of programming when using the optional 31.3-inch BMW theater screen. Now, I mentioned earlier the i7 xDrive 60 will have a 107 kilowatt hour battery pack, but that's the total capacity. The usable capacity is 101.7 kilowatt hour, which BMW estimates will deliver a 300 mile EPA range rating. When charging the i7 at home, the vehicle can accept up to 11 kilowatts, which means it should need about 10 hours to fully charge the battery from zero to 100%. When DC fast charging, the i7 can accept up to 195 kilowatt, which is the same maximum charging rate that the BMW iX can accept. However, BMW tells us they improved the charging curve for the i7, and it has a smoother curve than the iX, and that means it will charge slightly faster. We will, of course, test out that soon, as soon as BMW lets us road test an i7, do some range testing, and as always, our DC fast charge test recordings. Okay, so while the i7 has a lot of promise, we really need to get behind the wheels and drive one. Hopefully we'll be able to make that happen with BMW soon.